welcome to 632 days after December, I believe, 14th, 2010. I learned something about myself today. If I get up and immediately think I'm being productive and efficient by putting the flip in my backpack, I won't film a single clip until 11.17 p.m. Needless to say, that is the current time. Welcome to the vlog. Today was Tuesday. It was a pretty miserable day here today. It was warm, 80-something, 80 82 maybe, but it rained, misted, poured, or was dreary the entire day. Uh, right now at 11.18 p.m., we have some clouds up here where you can't see, and it's clear out there, clear to the north, and uh, I can see the moon, which is now to my southeast. Maybe you'll see it right there. There we go, that would be a waning gibbous right now, I believe. And um, yeah, what's going on in your life? Quick story times. I was on the way to school this morning and uh, I just pulled out on uh, Route 43, about 30, 40 miles an hour, and I hear the loudest noise I've heard, something hitting this car since I was on Route 8, you know, back in the spring or whenever that was. Now that must have been summer because my dad wasn't around. Uh, when I got that chip right here in the windshield from that stone coming up on the highway. It was that exact same noise, really sounded like something hit the glass right in front of me. Well, it was raining. So I flipped the wipers all the way up on high to get the water off so I could see, and there's nothing here. I have spent probably five minutes, because that's all I need to look over the front of the car, and uh, there, there's nothing that I can see hit, but whatever it was, it hit hard, it was fast, it was really loud, but good news is there's no visible damage to me at this point. Next time I detail it, I'll take a closer look, but thank God there's nothing there now. Aside from that, um, two classes today. I had college writing one. I actually got, we had three pieces of homework that are due Thursday. I got two of them done today. The other one's just reading. Got the audio book. So that should be good. And then we had psychology, which was great. I sat there and took notes, and, uh, and that was about it. And it was interesting. And then I got out, and I came home, and it was still raining. I got home. I did some work online. I got the emails. Zero. Watch later. Playlist two. Two vlogs, which I'll do tonight. Uh, so that means I'm going to be all caught up going into tomorrow, Wednesday. Tomorrow, Monday and Wednesday are my early days. I have to be there at 8.50, which means getting up by like 7.30, and that sucks. Um, and, you know, we had Monday off, so this week it's only Wednesday. I have to go in for math, 8.50 to 10.30. Then I have like two and a half hours off, which tomorrow I have to go to the Apple Store. My mom's 13-inch MacBook Pro, that one that I used to have, my first Mac, actually, the 2.53 gigahertz Core 2 Duo 13-inch MacBook Pro. The power cord, actually, I'll show you. They're sleeping, so I've got to be quiet. That's why I'm in the garage. The power cord did the same thing mine did when I was in San Diego. Right here, get a light on. Obviously a mag safe. Right here, these things are known to fail, and it certainly has. They plugged it in today, and it pretty much caught on fire and started smoking, and it absolutely stinks. So I'm hoping it's obviously it's out of warranty, but since this is a known issue, I'm thinking that the Apple Dex at the Genius Bar might be able to help us out. So leave your two cents down below. An old MacBook Pro, three years old now, set up a Genius, apart, Genius Bar appointment tomorrow morning for 11.15. She's going to pick me up from Kent. We're going to run over to the, the Summit Mall store in Akron, Calgo Falls, wherever Summit Mall is around here. And uh, we'll go in, show it to them. When I did mine, it was still under warranty, but since that's so common, I'm hoping they'll just replace it. If not, then it's going to be 80 bucks on a new power cord. Because that's the 60 watt, mine's the 80, and quite frankly, I don't want to have to share all the time. That would just be really annoying. So without wasting any more of your time, I apologize for uh, a kind of a, a 10 minute one taker here out in the garage. It's, it's so comfortable out here. It's 72 and it's pretty humid since all the rain, but it's pretty much dry. You can see it's a little wet over there still, but whatever. Car got slapped up again. Um, it really shows on the back bumper the most. Like here, that was perfectly clean two days ago. That's all carbon and road debris. The rest of it looks pretty spotless aside from behind the front wheels. It gets a little dirty there too on the trim and stuff. So uh, it's not supposed to rain Tuesday or Wednesday. It's coming back Thursday. I don't know if I'm going to clean it up or not. Time will tell. It is essentially fall here in Ohio. No, it's not. It's late summer still. It still feels like late summer, but as Colt pointed out in his vlog, some of the leaves have actually started to change and there's a couple on my driveway right now, which you can't see due to the flip's low quality and low light. But uh, that means that we don't have more than a few days of nice weather in a row, so I can't be as anal about keeping the car clean. But there is a show coming up, the Glenmore Gathering. We've gone the last three years. It's in Canton, Ohio, down at the Glenmore Country Club. It's beautiful. The weather's nice. We took the Ferrari the first year. Next year it was rain. It was going to rain, so we took the M5. That was way before I even got the new headlights, and that was the first thing I did back in September 2010. 
So this year, if it's nice, I have a contact down there. I'm going to call them, see if I can bring it down. I'll get a nice coat of wax on it, take it down to the show. Or enter, or I'll enter that and put it next to all the Ferraris and the occasional M car and CTSV on the on the main lawn or the front lawn, not the main golf green lawn. Uh, but that will be very cool. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, we see a bunch of people I know and a lot of cool cars. So that should be a good weekend. It's usually one of those Saturdays, the third Saturday in September. I think it was the 23rd last year or something like that. But stay tuned. We'll be going in three weeks. I'm still talking. Also around that time is the iPhone, the iPhone 5, which they'll be calling it. If you saw the invitation that Apple uh, sent out, it said uh, it, August or September 21st, right? or September 12th for the event, and the shadow was a 5. I immediately noticed that before even reading that they pointed it out in the Mac Rumors post. I saw it, I thought, oh, the shadow looks like crap. What do they do? Oh, it's a 5. Definitely the iPhone 5, which is stupid. iPhone 5 running iOS 6, it used to work out. iPhone 3GS ran iOS 3, I iPhone 4, iOS 4, but then the 4S ran 5, so whatever. Uh, I am looking forward to that, and hopefully I'll be getting one because mine is really starting to slow down. But it's not as bad as Kenan's. His power button stopped working today, and that's a pain in the ass. All right, good camera work here from Shaky the Camera Guy. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, Wednesday. Let you know what we find out with that power thing. Uh, some of you are start starting school tomorrow. Eric and everybody else on Facebook, I saw. Good luck. I assume high school. So uh, get her done and enjoy it while it lasts. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Good night.